Well, faculty, staff, and students at Bemidji State University recently welcomed internationally acclaimed artist Gordon Van Wert and a collection of his stone sculptures. Reporter Emma Hudziak tells us more in tonight's In Focus. The gallery that is titled Legends in Stone featured carved representations of Anishinaabe stories and traditions using stone and marble. Other sculpture titles include Remembering Springtime, Thunderbird, Generations, and Morning Glory. We bring in artists from all around the world, actually. And, um, and sometimes we have local artists. And when had we had the opportunity to bring Gordon in, here we have a man who's been uh, sculpting for 50 years now, and so this is kind of a retrospective of his work. Van Wert grew up in Red Lake, Minnesota, but moved to Santa Fe, New Mexico to attend a school called Institute of American Indian Arts. After completing his undergraduate degree, he enlisted in the Army. Wirt shared that when he got out of the Army, he didn't know what he was going to do. I tried a couple other jobs as a police officer for all, I couldn't handle that. And, but when I got to the school and I met this other sculptor who was another veteran who was just getting back from Vietnam, we got to be friends and he used to work at a tombstone factory in Idaho and he had all these cool air hammers and he introduced me to a Dremel drill. And I was, cause our, my teacher was all tap, tap, tap and file and sanding. There was no, we were lucky if we had a drill. Wirt has art placed in many areas around the world, but unfortunately he's never been able to attend the shows that display them. I had one in Paris, France, and then one in Japan, and one in South Africa. Wirt says that most of his sculptures are made out of limestone, marble, and alabaster. All of his outdoor pieces are made of limestone and marble, as those are the stones that can handle weather. The sculptures made of alabaster are the ones that he stores inside. I like it because it's pretty soft. Uh, and easy to carve, takes a great polish. It's got pretty good tensile strength and it comes in such a variety of color. You just see some of the colors that are in, these, in some of these alabaster. It's just like, wow, it's really just beautiful. If there is one thing that work can leave with students and viewers is that no matter how down you get, if you can do something that you can make with your hands, whether it be clay, beadwork, or anything, if you can do that and it makes you happy, that's what's going to add to your life. Additionally, the gallery includes a small-scale rendition of a Van Wert sculpture called Sun and Wind, located just behind me, that was installed outside on BSU campus back in 2008. Reporting Mimiji with tonight's In Focus, Emma Hudziak, Lakeland News. The exhibit runs until December 3rd, and it's located in the Tally Gallery of Bridgman Hall at Bemidji State. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.